Hello, this is Bern, and if you'd like to find out how to forgive a man who hurt you, stick around because on my episode today, I'll be sharing with you how to let go of the pain once and for all. Hello, this is Bern. Welcome to your great life TV.com. Today is another edition of Get the Love You Crave, and I'm super excited to be sharing with you how to forgive a man who hurt you. This is a subject that's so deeply needed in the world today. I've had so many conversations with women who are carrying around so much pain in their hearts from not forgiving a man who hurt them that I thought I had to record this. And bear in mind that this is not a fun subject or a sexy subject, but it's a subject that's deeply needed. That's why I'm recording this video. Number one step, if you want to forgive a man who hurt you, is understand that forgiveness towards this man doesn't mean that you're condoning his behavior or that you're saying that the pain does not exist. You're not putting a rubber band around uh, the sky and not looking into the sun and saying the sun doesn't exist. You're simply saying, you know what? The pain that I carry in my heart is too much to bear and I want to experience lightness. I want to, instead of experiencing baggage, carrying this shit on your back that doesn't serve you in any way, you want to let go of it. So I get it. You may be really hurt. The guy may have been incredibly selfish. He may have betrayed you in some way. I'm not asking you by you forgiving him to get back with him, to become friends with him, to trust him again. The thing they did may be strong enough or painful enough that you never want to have contact with this person again. And that's totally okay. But understanding that by you saying, I forgive this guy, I forgive this man in my life, it doesn't mean that you're saying that behavior is okay. It just means that you want to live with more lightness in your heart. Second step is understanding that forgiveness towards this guy is a radical act of love, not towards him, towards you. If you understand that by you forgiving him, you're being kind to yourself, kind to every single cell of your body, allowing yourself to create new conditions through which you can connect with someone, then you can move forward. But if you feel like you're doing this, doing him this big favor or giving him something, because you're forgiving him, you're not doing anything to him. It's all about you. And because I want you to be free versus scaring pain in your heart, I'm asking you right now to reconsider what it really means to forgive someone. Number three is to, and you're not gonna like this one, but I'm gonna say it anyways, own your freaking part in the whole thing. Now, before you throw tomatoes at me, <laughs> before you wanna punch me in the nuts, let me tell you that I don't mean that if you were a victim of something, some abuse in some way that you caused it because I've had the videos before where I mention something like that and people take it way out of proportion and think that I'm saying that if you were raped, for example, that you asked for it. I'm not saying that at all. I'm saying that if you were in a long-term relationship with a man and the man didn't respect you, didn't treat you the way you wanted it, that most likely there's some part that you have to do with it, whether it's not raising enough standards, whether it is uh, allowing him to mistreat you multiple times until he did this big one at the end. It's a very unlikely, it does happen, but it's very unlikely that out of the blue, the guy who was just amazing for a long period of time just came up with something out of left field. If that's the case, I feel sorry for what happened. But if it, that's not the case, if there's some part of you, even if it's 10%, 20%, 5% of you owning this, own that shit. Because if you own this, that means that next time you connect with a man, you're more free to understand that if it's standards that you didn't have high enough standards, have higher standards. If you didn't have uh, great communication skills, have better communication skills. If your intuition told you stuff about him, but you failed to listen to it, you now listen to and tune into your intuition more. So by you owning your small part or big part or 50% part in this whole thing, you create the freedom to be able to move forward and not have this happen to you again. Again, if for whatever reason you're someone who was hurt and really you have nothing to do with it, then uh, skip this step, but for 95% of you, there's some part of you in this, so own this. Number four, choose a higher meaning. This is such an important step because without this, then I think it could all be worthless. Here's the thing, you can go through deep hurt from a situation and choose two paths. One path is, I'm never gonna trust in men again. The other path is, I'm going to trust in my intuition more, but I'm still gonna choose to trust in the right guy. One of those paths is conducive to love and fulfillment. The other path is conducive to you experiencing life alone. It's your choice, absolutely. Nobody's gonna say you have to do it a certain way, but I believe that you're the kind of woman who's listening to this video. My 
feeling is that you want to create love again in your life. So choose a meaning that empowers you. Choose a meaning that adds more meaning. Choose a meaning that gives you the possibility of creating something instead of shutting away from men or from love altogether. Create an empowering meaning and go forward learning the lessons from your past, releasing the pain from your heart, and allowing the possibility of someone who has higher standards, who has deeper ethics, to enter your life. <laughs> if you think this is uh, in interesting, insightful, powerful in any way, I'm gonna ask you to do three things. Number one, click like on this video. Number two, subscribe to my channel. Number three, on the link on the screen here, you're going to find that there's a possibility for you to sign up to a free live webinar that shares with you how to find your soulmate in 90 days or less. Super powerful stuff and it's absolutely free. If you have any questions for me, reply via comment below and I'll either reply to you personally or I'll create a video with an answer just for you. <laughs> Thank you.